This is the 73rd annual United Way of the Lower Eastern Shore annual meeting and a community celebration. So I'm out of hand for the United Way. 73 years we've been doing a meeting here. I feel like I've aged well. Uh, we'd like to introduce to you Kimberly Conway Dumson, Esquire, Executive Vice President of the University of Maryland Eastern Shore. Uh, right here, obviously, we're on campus, a beautiful campus at that, and Kimberly also a United Way board member. So please welcome Kimberly Conway Dumson Esquire. Good morning, everyone. It's certainly my pleasure to welcome you to our beautiful campus where we every day touch the lives of students uh, with your support and with the support of so many in the community. But I also get to welcome you as a board member of an organization that I've been a part of for so many, many years that do such great work. And I thank you. And you'll hear that word over and over again today because we can't do what we do in the community without your support. At this time, I'd like to ask you stand as we do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. If I can also ask you to, to bow your heads for a moment of prayer. Oh, gracious and loving one, thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity to come together, united. United across difference. Differences in race, religion, backgrounds, and beliefs. Here we are, united, in our desire to improve our communities through the work of so many organizations and programs that access and address our most pressing needs. Thank you for those gathered today. Fill them continually with a desire for service, for we know service is the greatest gift that we can give to others. And now, please bless the food that has been prepared for us and the hands that have prepared it. May it nourish and strengthen our bodies. All these things we ask today, and in unity, let us say amen. At this time, I'd also like to share with you that today is a very special day and a sad one for UMES, bittersweet, if you will. Dr. Juliet Bell has led our institution for six years. Today is her final day on campus. She will leave our institution to begin her retirement, and we applaud and celebrate the many, many contributions that she's given to our campus and to our community during her tenure. Join me in giving Dr. Bell a round of applause in her absence, I appreciate it. My name is Jim Hartstein. I am the current chairman of the board of directors for our United Way, and it is absolutely a pleasure to have each and every one of you here today. It's a very exciting day as we get the opportunity to kick off our 73rd annual meeting. I'd like to first give a very special thank you and a very special round of applause to this incredible UMES team for their generosity and their sponsorship of this beautiful event. Can we please give a round of applause? <laughs> UMES is such a strong community partner and there are some individuals there that we'd like to particularly uh, send a special thank you out to. First, the Executive Vice President and our friend, Kim Conway Dumpson. Director of Alumni Relations, Jimmy Lamont. Close? Okay. Uh, the catering and audio visual teams for being able to do this fantastic video and, and uh, make sure that I don't mess the mic up too bad. And then lastly, uh, as Kim mentioned, Dr. Juliet Bell. Uh, Dr. Bell has been an incredibly friend to United Way and an incredible asset to our community for a very long time. Please um, join me in wishing Dr. Bell um, success in the next chapter.
As I said, this is a true honor for me to be able to address what is, again, another record-breaking crowd. In this room, we have an amazing collection of community donors, leaders, volunteers, and nonprofit partners who unite and lead to make a real difference in our community. You know, our campaign slogan for this year was, United We All Win, and everyone in this room is a shining example of that. So please, give yourself a round of applause. Thank you. Also, as we move forward, um, a special thank you to Senator Addie Eckert, uh, Senator Ben Cardin, and Delegate Mary Beth Carosa and Delegate Charles Otto for some, some beautiful citations and awards for today's event. They, those mean a great deal to our United Way and will be displayed prominently. Thank you. You know, it's, it's also a pleasure to be able to recognize uh, some former board members, some former presidents of the board of directors that are still long-term supporters and very much a part of our United Way history. If you would please uh, join me in recognizing Mr. Don Taylor, Sandy Grimm, Tony Sarbanes, Kathy Thomas, Vince Tolbert, Connie Strott, Gus Lebois, and my friend Jenny Reed Matern. Please give those folks a round of applause. You know, in preparing for today, um, I wanted to put together a couple of thoughts and, and a couple of ideas of just some of the highlights of the incredible success that we've been able to have over the last year. You know, I think um, if you're a follower of our Facebook page, you know that there's a lot of activity. And you must say, well, these guys are just rocking and rolling. They got all kinds of stuff going on, and it's true. So uh, what I wanted to do was just kind of recognize some of those. You know, on the fundraising front, um, this has been another banner year. Uh, we surpassed our fundraising goal, and thanks to all of the passion, all of the leadership, and all of the commitment of everyone here, our employee campaigns and our corporate gifts were at an all-time high, which is going to have an incredibly positive impact on our community. Also on the fundraising front, in regards to special events, uh, it was described to me earlier today that the United Way is a bit of a special events machine, I think is the way it was described. The, uh, the Holiday Ball continues to thrive and be a, a fantastic event. The Preakness and Palooza and Frisbee Golf are incredible success. Thanks very much to our friends at RPS. Uh, thanks to the Student United Way at, at, at Salisbury University. The Halloween 5K is always a huge success and very financially successful. And then the Cornhole Tournament, in partnership with the Elks Club this year, again, had another record-breaking year. So thank you very, very much for all those efforts. Fantastic. You know, it, at the United Way, we do a lot more than just raise money. Uh, we also spend a lot of time in the advocacy space. This year we had some tremendous successes that we're very proud of. The Opioid Symposium and formation of the Lower Shore Awareness Visual Arts Competition were both incredible successes. If you want to see examples of those pieces, they're lined up here against this wall. Um, opportunities to bring awareness and to advocate for those that are, that are suffering in that space. Also, we're incredibly proud of this year was the formation of the Healthcare Literacy Partnership with PRMC and Wicomico Public Libraries. We think that's going to be a fantastic avenue to get financial literacy into our communities and help people really understand how the healthcare system works and can work best for them. Lastly, and, and probably most recently, uh, the United Way was a part of some other community partners and some successful advocacy for increased funding for Wicomico Public Schools. Uh, tremendous success, great outpouring, and we're very thankful and very happy that the County Council uh, saw that effort and um, was able to support. So please, a round of applause for those efforts. Fantastic year. You know, the other thing that's been very exciting, and I think this has probably been developing over the last seven or eight years, but we've been, as a United Way, forming more and more affinity groups. Uh, we're finding ways to engage more donors, engage more advocates, and in, in, in ways that we can just make United Way uh, personal for everyone involved. The emerging leaders and the student United Ways at both Salisbury University and Warwick continue to surpass board expectations, and we are continued to be just amazed at the group of those young folks can come together and the way they can lead and impact our community. Also this year, we had another very special uh, group, and Kathleen reminded us at lunch, I think it was one year ago today, they had their first planning meeting, and a heck of a lot of accomplishments inside of a year, but that's our Women United Affinity Group. 
This group had a tremendous amount of success this year uh, in partnership with the Girls on the Run of the Greater Chesapeake. We were able to bring Girls on the Run right here to Wicomico County, Pittsville, is it Pittsville Elementary, I think. Um, and uh, just the, the partnership of mentoring, confidence, along with um, physical activity was fantastic. Women United also had a very successful kickoff with a read to succeed. I think we can uh, have proved and demonstrated what I know my friend uh, Dr. Hanlon's been telling me for a long time is that a, a child, when they get a little bit of love and a little bit of attention, can do incredible things. We saw reading scores jump in that space significantly, and we're very, very proud of that. And then also incredibly important, a series of cocktails and conversations. This is a group of ladies who are invested and care about our community, getting together to have conversations that need to be had um, and can look at it through that lens um, that, only, that only women provide. And it's beautiful, so we're incredibly successful. If you're interested about any of those groups, please reach out to the office and we'd be happy to tell you about ways you can get engaged. You know, in closing, before I, I turn this over to, um, to Dr. Gaddis with the nominating and diversity recommendations, you know, I, I look at the agency in the last, I think, seven or eight years that I've been involved, there's been a tremendous amount of growth. And as we continue to grow and continue to diversify, uh, we're going to have bumps. You always do when you grow. I think, but one thing that I'm incredibly excited about, knowing this slate of officers that we're going to have represented, is that you've got a very talented, very compassionate, very community-oriented group that's going to be leading this organization. It was about a year ago that we came together and I told you that it is being good stewards of your dollars and doing what is right in the community is something that we vow to do as a board of directors and you have my word that we'll continue with this group because we're very, very proud of them. So, without any further ado, uh, and I know Casey's going to snatch me up if I go too far off script, talk too long. So, um, would you guys please uh, join me in welcoming Dr. John Gaddis, uh, Superintendent of so Somerset County Schools, representing the Nominating and Diversity Committee and their recommendations for the new slate of officers and directors. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is John Gaddis, Superintendent of Schools of Somerset County and member of the United Way Board of Directors and Nominating Diversity Committee. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed your lunch and are enjoying this community celebration. It is my pleasure to present the slate of officers and board members for the 2018-2019 as proposed and reviewed by the Nominating and Executive Committee and the board. Uh, this team of community leaders will begin their terms effective August 1st, 2018. As each person's name is called, please stand and remain standing until the vote is complete. We will give them a round of applause once the nominations are approved. 2018-2019 uh, officers, Chairman Dana Seller, Vantage Point Solutions Group, Immediate Past Chair Jim Hartstein, the insurance market, Executive Vice Chair Kimberly Conway Dumpson, University of Maryland Eastern Shore, Special Projects Chair Laura Rodriguez, PNC Bank, Messaging Communications Chair Rick Nelson, Carey Insurance and Financial Services, Wicomico County Chair Dennis Killian, Peninsula Regional Med Medical Center, Worcester County Chair Cole Talston, Blue Crab House, Embers and Mad Fish Restaurants. Somerset County Chair Courtney Monar, Somerset County Public Schools. Dorchester County Chair Jennifer Layton, Layton's Chance Vineyard and Winery. And our Community Impact Committee Chair Beth Reed, Geologics at PRMC. Treasurer Secretary Roy Geyser, TMG, TGM Group. And President and CEO Kathleen Momay. Terms ending in 2019, Greg Bassett, the Salisbury Independent, Pete Bugis, D.S. Smith, Steve Farrow, Civic Leader, Donna Hanlon, Wicomico County Public Schools, Amy Hassan, Salisbury University, Brian Hurst, Purdue Farms, Davies Jean-Louis, D.S. Smith, 
Gus Lebois, civic leader. Mary Mangelson, Avery Hall Insurance. Alan Nelson, civic leader. Brian Newton, Warwick Community College. Jenny Reed Matern, civic leader. Jesse Reed, Wicomico County Public Schools. Candace Schrofer, Purdue Farms. Connie Strott, law firm of George G. Strott, Jr. Terms ending in 2020. Michelle Canopy, Maryland Department of Transportation's Motor Vehicle Administration. John Gaddis, Somerset County Public Schools. Jim List, law office of James A. List. Sharon Morris, First Shore Federal. Terms ending 2021. Tashika Hilliard, Worcester County Drug Court. Susan Parker, Delmarva Now. Chantel Russum, Somerset County Public Schools. Annette Wallace, Worcester County Public Schools. And Mike Wood, Pepsi Bottling Ventures. May I now have a motion from the floor to accept the slate of officers and directors as presented. I have a motion. Do I have a second? I have a motion and a second. Do we have any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for the vote. All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Those opposed? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our community's 2018-19 United Way of the Lower Eastern Shore Officers and Board of Directors. It is now my honor uh, to present someone to you that everyone knows. She is our own United Way Eastern Shore world rock star. It is our president and our CEO, Kathleen Momay. Good afternoon. Okay, I've got to turn this down here. This is just such an exciting day. I was thinking this morning, it's like Christmas morning to me. This day is about celebrating the love in our community and how much people care. It's about celebrating all of you here today who come out of your businesses all year round to take your caring hearts into the community to make a difference. And together, we do all win. It is just amazing to see the level of caring. Someone just said to me a few minutes ago, I didn't know that all the United Ways were independent. I thought it was all one big group. Well, good news is they now know we are very independent. And I must say, I think we have the best United Way out of the 1,400 in the country. Yes. <laughs> but things don't happen alone. As you know, we have a small staff covering four counties here at the United Way of the Lower Eastern Shore. And I would love for you to join me in celebrating my team. It is truly a team effort. Not, you know, just as we do with United Way. By ourselves, none of us can do anything as great as we can when we work together. So if you would, um, if my team would please stand and remain standing so we can celebrate their amazing efforts and what they do year round. Amy Luppins, our Chief Operating Officer. Steve Falkrod, our Finance Manager. Pam Gregory, Community Impact Director. Stacy McMichael, our Resource Development Manager. Meg Davis, our Office Manager. Casey Decker, Special Projects Manager, AKA put this entire event together. Uh, Chelsea Johnson and Olivia Momay, our Community Outreach Coordinators. Kathy Thomas, our Leadership and Planned Giving Officer. And a team of incredible office volunteers who spend many days a week with us. And that is Pat Layfield, Tracy Ritter, and Ryan and Carol Sturba, if you all would please stand. Let's hear it for this amazing team. And there's no doubt, in case you can't see them, I see them every day, they have wings on their shoulders. Um, and, and what they do and the extra efforts they put in to inspiring you and to helping you with your campaigns. As Jim has said, this was an incredible year. Our goal, was 2.2 million, and it was a very bold goal to set 2.2 million dollars to raise in our four counties for our United Way efforts, and we did it. 
You heard we did it. But how far did we go past this goal? Drum roll, please. We went past it by looking at the screens. 2 dollars a new all-time record. And, and that's because, again, of all of you here in this room and thousands of others who said, yes, I can't change the world, but I can give $5 a week out of my paycheck, or I can buy a ticket to this event. In addition to the 200 organizations who've had successful and engaged employee campaigns, you heard also special events. Yeah, I don't know if we call ourselves a machine, but it was amazing this year with, yes, the Zombie 5K that the Student United Way at SU puts on. And what has now become continually sold out the event of the year, the Holiday Ball. Just record numbers. And just the FYI, little commercial here, um, right now I think there's only three sponsorships left um, for, for next year's on the first Saturday in December. Um, and as you also heard, um, Jim and I need to compare notes, but there's so many good things that we've done as a United Way. The Health Literacy Initiative that was started by Dr. Memo Derricker, along with the help of Dr. Mark Edney, has really now set a model this year of a Train the Trainer program that we are going to be rolling out past the pilot phase to help people be educated and health literate so they can know what that prescription says. They can know how often to take the medicine. It really is phenomenal and again, we don't do this alone. It's a partnership between Beacon and SU, PRMC and the, the library systems we're gonna be rolling out to all four counties. It is just exciting to see again another way where our communities are working together to address very serious issues. And our affinity groups, Women United, amazing. Um, major kudos to the two women who really have been at the beginning of this, actually, as you heard, a year ago started their planning meetings, and that is Kathy Thomas and Lois Hartstein, who have just been phenomenal in rolling that out. And hopefully you have had a chance to take a look at our newest annual report, which is truly has pictures and names of all the good that is in our community of people who are making a difference, people who are changing people's lives um, in, in many ways. Um, every success in, in these pages you'll see is about the basic building blocks of life. Good health, education, and financial stability. That is what our United Way is focused on. And with those things, you will see in here, 254 corporate partners who made this possible, over 6,000 donors, 11,942 volunteer hours, and 84,000 of our neighbors who've been given hope and help because of your United Way efforts to say, yes, we're going to step out. We know we have a lot on our, our books. We have a lot of goals in our office, but we're still going to make a difference and join in this community effort. And on page 28, there's a little competitiveness going on, and that is our top 50. It's always fun to get those phone calls at the office after campaign saying to Stacy or calling me saying, okay, Kathleen, okay, Stacy, how much did they come in with before we put in our numbers? Um, so it, it, is always, it always happens, and it's, it's really exciting, and the good news is this kind of competition makes it possible for all of us to win. This top 50 also includes some very small employers, and hats off to them to being a part of our United Way's top 50. As you can see, Gillis Gilkerson at $8,080. And then our community foundations, our partners there in many ways, and the Richard Henson Foundation. And you can see many who have just a few employees. I also want to point out that there is no doubt in my mind that our four county public school systems are not only helping our students be competitive academically and be ready for their career or college, but our four county public school systems are amazingly competitive as well, which is a good thing, to show how much they are going to make a difference in our community. And just to point out, just looking back at some of the past years, this past year, our Worcester Board of Ed team increased their giving 
by $5,000 to maintain their number 10 spot, which is quite the coveted in the top 10. The Somerset Board of Ed team increased by over $12,000, moving from the number six spot to the number four spot. And the Wicomico Board of Ed increased over 20,000 to put them from, take them from number four to number three. Just, let's hear it for the public school systems. You know, they are amazing. Yeah, just amazing. And the amazing employees of PRMC, our medical center, increased their giving by $6,000. And I have to say, keeping them in the coveted bridesmaid position of number two. We love PRMC. Let's hear it for PRMC. And now, I would like to ask every Purdue Farms employee to please stand. They remain our number one. 431,393 dollars because of the caring associates that this company and their leaders represent. Let's give a real Eastern Shore thank you to Purdue Farms. I have tried to, as you know, from the bottom of my heart, I cannot thank you enough for all that you do for our community, for the people that you will never meet whose lives you are touching. I will try to give you each a hug, if I haven't already. I know it sounds sappy, but that's who I am. We really do care at United Way about you and how much you share your hearts with people in our community. So God bless you and thank you. And I will be trying to give everyone a hug today um, before you leave. You know, my husband thinks I'm crazy, but you know, hello. It's the real thing. We wear our hearts on our sleeve at United Way, and that's a good thing when we can see the results that we're doing and making. Now it's my honor to start the awards process to introduce our Master of Ceremonies and extraordinaire, Mr. Randy Scott. All right, so again, if you brought a large group, awesome, but just send a couple, uh, maybe about three representatives up to accept the award, please. And then uh, after the conclusion, we're gonna make sure to get pictures taken as well. And also, if uh, you provided a citation this year, we wanna make sure we get your picture uh, afterwards as well. So again, pause for pictures after the ceremony today. So we just wanna make sure that uh, we'll have that full group photo at the end of the event. All right, so we will start with the Salisbury University Student United Way Volunteer of the Year. The Student United Way Clubs give students the opportunity to be leaders, advocate, and volunteer in our local community. We're kicking off with a true rock star, a young woman who has played a pivotal role in Salisbury University Student United Way, achieving incredible new heights in its fifth year. As president this past year, she's paved the way to a record-breaking year of community impact, including leading over 70 club members to complete 85 volunteer projects, equating to over 4,100 volunteer hours and directly impact over 3,500 local individuals and families. The club's impact has been thoroughly recognized by both SU and United Way worldwide with numerous awards. Furthermore, this young leader and the amazing club officers went above and beyond during the Halloween Zombie 5K and other fundraisers throughout the year raising a record-breaking total of $9,475. She is known as being consistently professional and polished, the club cheerleader and the glue that holds everyone together, even with juggling multiple internships, work, honor societies, and being a stellar student. On top of her involvement with the club, she also travels the world, providing humanitarian aid, volunteers at ECI, and is known as a true leader on Salisbury University's campus. Unfortunately, you heard she was busy. She's busy today. Can't join us today. She's doing a policy internship in Annapolis. On her behalf, the club's academic advisor, Dr. Ani Mathers, will accept Salisbury University Student United Way Volunteer of the Year for Miss Eleanor Brown.
Warwick Community College Student United Way Volunteer of the Year. The Warwick Community College Student United Way Volunteer of the Year is honoring a student who has gone over the top in demonstrating leadership and drive. As club president, he has greatly increased Student United Way's community impact in its second year. From building wheelchair ramps and habitat homes to holding the first Warwick Student United Way fundraiser to helping at the CEO breakfast, participating in a tournament, his passion for service is evident in all he does. Even with a beyond full schedule of work and academics, this young leader has consistently made himself available to help our community, sometimes even on very short notice. It's not hard to see the recipient of this award has a bright future ahead with future aspirations in business. Please help me and congratulate a student volunteer whose efforts have made a big difference. Please welcome Corey Davis. Thank you, Corey. Now on to our Emerging Leader of the Year Award. The United Way Emerging Leaders are a group of passionate young professionals who invest both time and resources to improving the community. Emerging Leaders donate at the leadership level and participate in volunteer projects, fundraisers, and special events throughout the year. This award honors a member of the group who has demonstrated extraordinary efforts and commitment to the community through United Way projects and programs. Since becoming involved in the fall of 2015, she has consistently participated in nearly all EL volunteer projects, offers ideas to move the ELs forward while increasing impact, and engages and inspires those around her to join efforts to help the community consistently demonstrating leadership. Unfortunately, she's not able to attend today, but Randy Day, CEO of Purdue Farms, will accept the 2017 Emerging Leader of the Year Award for Ms. Michelle Sadler of Purdue Farms. It's a great name, Randy. All right, on to the Women United Volunteer of the Year. Uh, women United is a group of local women who contribute at the United Way Anchor Society level and are leaders who speak up, unite, and take action on issues that hit closest to home through giving, volunteering, and advocating. We're fast approaching its very first anniversary as the United Way Affinity Group and thus are celebrating our first Women United Volunteer of the Year Award. This year's recipient is no stranger to volunteering in her community and leading the way to incredible community impact with past roles of president of a local school board, a lioness chapter, amongst much more. She is the queen of organization and really knows how to get things done. And these skills have come quite in handy in leading the way in the first year of big community impact, including implementing two women united programs with Wicomico County Public Schools to strengthen local youth with the Read to Succeed and Girls on the Run programs, hosting quarterly cocktails and conversations, educational networking events, and hosting a very successful first-time fundraiser, Power of the Purse, raising over $10,000 in our community. The inaugural year was so successful because of over 100 dedicated women and the leadership of one. Congratulations to the Women United Volunteer of the Year, Lois Hartstein. She picked this song. <laughs> heart of United Way. The Heart of United Way Award is bestowed upon one who embodies what it means to live united and personifies the values of inclusiveness, commitment, compassion, and humility. This year's awardee is a team of two that uh, have led the number one workplace campaign for over nine years. These ladies have volunteered enormous amounts of time and resources and lead a team of 31 coordinators. With their leadership, the campaign has seen an increase in the percentage of associate uh, contributions and total donations, uh, totaling a record-breaking number of over $400,000 this past campaign year. Just a few examples of their amazing campaign initiatives include working directly with United Way staff to plan campaign presentations, offering pay-for-play rewards, 
in the form of chocolate candy bars, planning creative fundraising uh, activities as well, like barbecues, bake sales, car washes, and are responsible for the collection of over 900 associates' donations towards the campaign. Our United Way is so fortunate to have their passion for improving the lives of the less fortunate. Both ladies do so without judgment or want of recognition. They each truly have a servant's heart. Please welcome to the stage our Hearts of United Way Award winners from Purdue Farms, Jennifer Cannon and Amy Wingate. And our next wave of awards will be introduced by Stacy McMichael, uh, United Way's Resource Development Manager. So come on up, Stacy. Now is the part of the program where we get to recognize our workplace coordinators from each county that excel in the area of campaign leadership. They're out of the box thinking and enthusiasm and leaders from each community that set an example for others advocating, fundraising, and volunteering, all to lift up our community and our neighbors in need. The first award is the Dorchester Coordinators of the Year. This year's Dorchester County Coordinators of the Year blew their campaign out of the water using a fresh approach, hosting a day of presentations that included nonprofit partners as guest speakers, prize drawings, and refreshments for attendees, not to mention the 100% match thanks to their city manager. The result was the highest United Way campaign ever for the city of Cambridge by a wide margin with a grand total of raising $5,682. Though they cannot be here today, accepting the award on their behalf is board member Jennifer Layton, the Dorchester County campaign chair, Please join me in recognizing our Dorchester County Coordinators of the Year, City Manager Sandra Tripp Jones, and Executive Assistant Kathy Foster from the City of Cambridge. Our 2017 Dorchester County Volunteers of the Year are the absolute definition of a dynamic duo. These truly charismatic and outgoing individuals with a sense of humor that will make you belly laugh are also incredibly creative and passionate about making a difference for our local th youth through support of United Way's Imagination Library free book program demonstrating that company support can go far beyond the campaign, these two have sponsored and led for the last seven years the epic Frisbee Golf Tournament and Preakness Palooza. No words can truly convey our appreciation for all of the time and resources they and their entire team have put into securing sponsors, donations, creative initiatives, and making sure every I is dotted and T is crossed from start to finish. Their hard work has certainly paid off as the two events this year raised over $27,000 and in the past seven years, $132,000. This equates to over 61,000 books for over 5,000 children ages birth to five, greatly helping our United Way ensure our local children are entering kindergarten more ready to learn and thrive. Please join me in celebrating our Dorchester County Volunteers of the Year, Brad Sutliff of Arthur J. Gallagher and Company, and Dean Goodwin of RPS ISG International. Our Worcester 
County Coordinators of the Year really know how to have a successful campaign by involving and having a coordinator in every department. And they know how to have some fun and really rally the troops to make a difference. Just one example is the Engineering Department Coordinator, Joanne Landon, who implemented a large silent auction for all employees, raising an impressive total of $1,250 alone. Another hilarious example is the Wastewater Department Coordinator, Jenna Knight, who organized a pie-in-the-face fundraiser. The head coordinator of this team, Eric Lagstrom, actually received not one, but two pies in the face. <laughs> Finally, part of the magic of being a great coordinator is sharing your passion for United Way and our programs with your coworkers. Some do this by telling them things that they've learned. Others share stories of their volunteerism. But a few coordinators really open up and share about how United Way has personally impacted them. It takes a certain amount of bravery to share stories that are so close to your heart. And the head coordinator certainly went above and beyond by sharing the impact of Boy Scouts and hospice in his personal life with every single presentation this year. He also has served as the head coordinator for the past few years and led the way to consistently increasing the campaign, raising close to $19,000 this year. Please join me in saluting our 2018 Worcester Coordinators of the Year, Eric Lagstrom and the Town of Ocean City team. years ago, a focused restaurateur with a strong desire to make a difference through our local United Way had a brilliant idea that would be fun and engage thousands of Ocean City tourists and locals alike, the Dine United OC competition, where restaurants compete to see who can raise the most proceeds from local food and drink specials. Over the last two years, Dine United has grown to 30 restaurants, and that's not all. The success with the restaurants made us want to expand even more, and Stay United was created. Stay United takes the concept of Dine United to hotels. And combined, this year the two initiatives raised over $71,000. As the chairman of this major event, this gentleman spent countless hours recruiting restaurants, hotels, and vendor sponsorships. In addition, he is a member of the board and chair of the Worcester County campaign team, helping open up doors in Worcester County and building lasting relationships with many campaigns. Please join me in applause for our Worcester County Volunteer of the Year, Vice President of the Embers Restaurant, Blue Crab House and Raw Bar, and Mad Fish Bar and Grill, Mr. Cole Tostin. This year's Somerset County Coordinators of the Year pride themselves on being small but mighty. And by mighty, we mean a 22.5% increase over last year's incredible United Way campaign. Year after year, they seem to outdo themselves, upping their creativity and reaching the ambitious goals they set. A true team effort, this campaign team is comprised of individuals from each school who put in the time and energy to see that the campaign is a success for our neighbors in need. They are a force to be reckoned with, raising nearly $66,000 this year through employee pledges and numerous creative fundraising efforts, including a crab feast, a bus pool competition, student fundraisers like getting the chance to squirt the principal and the vice principal in the face with a squirt gun, and so, so much more. They have landed a coveted spot at number four in the United Way top five campaigns, Driven by success and living their motto, success, nothing less, hats off to the Somerset County Coordinators of the Year, the Somerset County Public Schools Campaign Team.
This year's Somerset County volunteer takes the cake for creativity by putting the fun in fundraising. Over the last few years, she has played an integral role in this taking Somerset County Public Schools campaign to new heights. There are very few things she won't do in the name of United Way dedication, from letting each of her students throw a water balloon at her, kissing a pig, dressing up in crazy costumes, the list goes on. She serves on the board as a Somerset County campaign chair, is a valued holiday ball committee member, and a driving force in the Somerset County Public School campaign. The recipient of the Somerset County Volunteer of the Year is none other than the ultimate enthusiastic leader, Princess Anne Elementary Principal, Courtney Monar. The Wicomico County Coordinator of the Year is new this year to the United Way family. She demonstrated her commitment to coordinating her organization's workplace campaign by meeting one-on-one -on -one with employees across all departments and six dealerships. She set goal after goal, increasing it each time she hit her mark. With her leadership, this campaign increased by 600%, putting their organization number 12 on our top 50 list with raising over $39,000. She has become an ambassador for United Way, not just through fundraising, but also by volunteering on special projects like providing Christmas gifts and delivering them to children and families in need with our young professionals group, the Emerging Leaders. It is my pleasure to award the Wicomico Coordinator of the Year to Katherine Harrison from the Pohanka Automotive Group of Salisbury. <laughs> The Wicomico County Volunteer of the Year Award. This board member really set the tone for the year's entire campaign in Wicomico County by chairing the campaign team as well as leading and securing the presenting sponsorship from the Salisbury Elks number 817 for the 2017 and 2018 annual cornament. She stepped up to the plate and chaired the cornament committee, going above and beyond with providing hours and hours of her time and resources, securing new sponsors, donors, committee members, and improving the on-site fundraising with an incredible silent auction, long toss competition, 50-50 raffle, all leading to another successful event, raising over $19,000 and breaking all records for participation. In addition, she helped our United Way build a great partnership with the Salisbury Elks, not only as our event host, but also by, by providing grant funding of over $5,000 for our Imagination Library program. And it doesn't stop there. She's always been a huge part of Emerging Leaders Group and helped organize the Christmas in July fundraiser at the Elks, plus opened many doors in Wacomica County for the campaign and is heavily involved in our community in general. This year's Wicomico County Volunteer of the Year from Peninsula Regional Medical Center and Heologics Wound Care is Beth Reed. And now it's my pleasure to turn the microphone back over to our CEO and President, Kathleen Momay. We now have a few more awards. The first one is our Flame of Excellence Award. The United Way Flame of Excellence honors the individual or team that exhibits superior campaign strategy and management. This year, the team we are recognizing exceeded their campaign goal. Their enthusiasm and energy was evident from the beginning of the season, kicking off their campaign at the Wicomico Youth and Civic Center with all 2,500 employees in attendance. With the superintendent running through a breakaway banner with her United Way shirt on, tie-dyed, um, and they, she ran through this through the theme of a choreographed dance to We Are Family. And that is just what they are to us. Under the leadership of their coordinator, Mark Thompson, the team planned and scheduled presentations at 24 schools, 
12 administrative and operational departments. They held the inaugural Dance United event with 420 students collecting contributions, one slime the principal event, and casual days for staff. Their energy and caring for our United Way is evident in the support this team provides. With all activities included, they raised $80,967. A special thank you to this entire team for providing hope and help to our neighbors, and especially the team leadership of Dr. Donna Hanlon, Mark Thompson, Jeff Baer, Nick Thompson, Courtney Jones, Brooke Barnes, Jesse Reed, Paul Butler, and Patty Ayotte. It is with great pride that I announce the 2017 Flame of Excellence Award goes to the Wicomico County Public Schools. Next is our Spirit of the Shore Award, which is the highest honor bestowed on a company for excellence in community compassion and overall philanthropic community service. Created in 1999, a few of the past Spirit of the Shore winners include Piedmont Airlines, Purdue Farms, Delmarva Power, PNC, Peninsula Regional Medical Center, Wicomico Board of Ed, Worcester Board of Ed, Avery Hall Insurance, The Daily Times, Bar Truck Group, Interstate Container, Gillis Gilkerson, and Somerset County Public Schools last year. This year's honoree has a community spirit that dates back to its founding in 1925. Its highest purpose is to empower students with the knowledge, skills, and core values that contribute to active citizenship, gainful employment, and lifelong learning in a democratic society and interdependent world. The ripple effect of their impact across the shore is undeniable. As one of the premier higher education establishments on the East Coast, our recipient recognizes that to provide a comprehensive experience for students, they must look outside the walls of their university. They have done so with countless partnerships with the city, the county, local hospitals, local boards of ed, local businesses, nonprofits, and the list goes on. Their partnership with Our United Way is beyond typical. Maryland's first Student United Way Club was founded on their campus in 2013 and continues to receive national and international recognition for their humanitarian efforts. And most of the club's fundraising comes from the Halloween Zombie 5K and Shred Days, which they, the institution holds right on their campus. Since 2013, supporters of United Way have enjoyed kicking off the campaign at its annual CEO breakfast on their campus. And their staff and faculty most graciously give back to organizations all over the Lower Eastern Shore, thanks to their involvement with the Maryland Charities Campaign. Furthermore, incredible staff members include Dr. Memo Derricker, Amy Hassan, and on, they are on our board of directors and committees and give an amazing amount of their time and amazing talents. We can't thank this awardee enough for all they've done for this community and especially hats off to the leadership that they, we have had with Dr. Janet Dudley Eschbach. Let's have an elevated round of applause for the 2017 Spirit of the Shore award winner, Salisbury University. Just with the two more, the President's Trophy um, is it bestowed upon an individual who has a tremendous impact on our United Way and our community for many, many years. Just a few of the distinguished past recipients of the President's Trophy include Jim Barrett, Marty Neat, Don Taylor, Frank and Mitzi Purdue, Tony Sarbanes, Jeff Turner, Connie Strott, Tim Feist, Jenny Reed Matern, Mark Edney, Kathy Thomas, Rick Nelson, and last year, our own Jim Hartstein. 
This year's recipient has a long-standing history as a donor, a volunteer, and a corporate supporter of our United Way. He has worn numerous United Way hats, serving on the Community Impact Committee, the Wicomico County team, and most recently as the Executive Vice President and our campaign chairman. His IT company has partnered with our United Way on several ventures, including our Tech for Teens program, providing refurbished tech equipment to Salisbury Horizons graduates, and our Tech Assurance program, assisting local nonprofits with their technical infrastructure and safety. Over the years, the book value of his in-kind support to our organization has been tens of thousands of dollars. But the value of knowing our data and the data of our nonprofits is protected is priceless. Our community and our United Way have really been risen up and, and raised to new levels um, because of his dedication, his compassion, his faith, and his caring. His caliber of leadership is unmatched, and we are thrilled to call him our incoming chair of the board for the 2018-19 campaign. Please join me in honoring the 2017 United Way President's Award winner from Vantage Point Solutions Group, Mr. Dana Seiler. Can you tell we really put a lot of effort into the right songs? <laughs> so next and last but not least, our Jim Barrett Community Leadership Award. Uh, I would like to ask John and his daughter Taylor Barrett to join me as we present this very important award. The Jim Barrett Community Leadership Award is one to celebrate community stars, for those of you who do not know Jim Barrett, Jim Barrett was one of the greatest Eastern Shore community leaders of compassion, enthusiasm, and for 20 years served as a great leader for our local United Way. Most notably was Jim's passion for taking our top leadership donor group, the Anchor Society, to new heights. His love for life and his enthusiasm for everyone to volunteer and get involved in the community and his beyond successful business was contagious and inspiring for everyone who knew Jim Barrett. In light of Jim's amazing capacity to inspire others to give and care for one another, this award was created to honor one individual annually who personifies what it means to be inspirational, generous, compassionate, and community-minded. Past honorees include Leighton Moore, Mitzi Purdue, Morgan Hazel, Marty Meat, Bill Middleton, Jim Purdue, Tony Sarbanes, Peggy Nalepa, John Allen, Peggy Bradford, Janet Dudley Eschbach, Kathleen McLean, and most recently, Susan Purnell. Today, it is another heartwarming moment for us, along with Jim's son, John, and I'm really delighted that his daughter, Taylor, was able to make it, too. I was just saying, so, I'm trying to think, when, how old was Taylor when Jim left us? She was 18 months old, and to have his granddaughter on stage with us today is very special, and I know he is smiling down proudly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this individual represents and personifies the words community-minded, both in his work and his many volunteer and civic um, events. In his spare time, our honoree is a past president of the Salisbury Sunrise Rotary Club, the Salisbury Area Chamber of Commerce, and the American Marketing Association in Boston. He has international acclaim, having served in many capacities on the board of the Network of International Business Schools for over 20 years, and was awarded the Board Member Emeritus for Life designation in 2014. He currently serves on the boards of Salisbury Area Chamber of Commerce, the Maryland Chamber of Commerce, the Maryland Chamber of Commerce Foundation, Leadership Maryland, Best Class Ever 2012, and our very own United Way of the Lower Eastern Shore. His leadership during the past three years with the literacy, Health Literacy Initiative has been phenomenal, nothing less. Along with Dr. Mark Edney, they have created a program to address the critical need of educating our vulnerable populations about the importance of health and wellness. 
from accessing preventative care to reducing the need for emergency services, and how to properly take medications and improve healthy eating. Their pioneer work is now being taken and accelerated thanks to PRMC years ahead of what we had planned. Memo and his graduate assistant team from Beacon have provided research, helped establish basic health literacy curriculum, and implemented the train the trainer process for partners to have the tools they need to educate the populations they serve. He is an integral member of the numerous United Way committees, such as the Holiday Ball, where he generously donates a great amount of his time, talents, and some of the most successful auction items ever. Our Jim Barrett Community Leadership Award recipient is no stranger to receiving public recognition and has been the recipient of many honors and awards, including an Influential Marylander Award, Alumni Appreciation Award, a Distinguished Faculty Member Award, a Diversity Award, a Visionary Award, an Outstanding Public Health Leader Award, a Heart of United Way Award, a Platinum Club Over $1 Million in External Funding Award, two Distinguished Service Awards, and a University System of Maryland Board of Regents Awards for Outstanding Public Service. I would be remiss to say that his day job is more than a day job. He has more time than any one of us in this room, I believe. And he is the founding director of the premier business and economic research and consulting unit of the Franklin P. Purdue School of Business, most of us know as Beacon. Please join me and congratulating our 2017 Jim Barrett Community Leadership Award winner to the one and only Memo Derricker. Dana, our incoming chairman for closing remarks. Let's hear it for Dana Seiler. Would you all uh, join me in congratulating, congratulating the award winners for this year? I really did think that the song was appropriate, but it's a good thing they didn't ask me to chose it because an even more appropriate song would have been Flirting with Disaster <laughs> by a great group called Molly Hatchet, and I just aged myself by telling everybody I knew who Molly Hatchet is. Um, I love the opportunity that I get to do closing remarks because the only thing I'm keeping you from is going back to work, so no matter how long I talk, I don't think anybody in the room is going to be angry at me. I'd also like to give a special salute and ask you to join me in that salute for Dr. Juliet Bell and the entire UMES team who put together this fantastic event today. Would you join me in that? So as I sat here today and I, and I listened to everything that was going on and and what Jim shared with us and what Kathleen shared with us and, and looking at the award winners, three words came to mind, and those words were generosity, compassion, and impact. And the reason that those words came to mind for me is because this room is filled with people that have abundant generosity. Because, see, abundant generosity is generosity that takes a big heart. And this room is filled with big hearts. Big hearts who go out of their way to do things for their neighbors. Big hearts that go out of their way to do things for neighbors they don't even know. And I'm not just talking about generosity when it comes to our wallets, which, which is necessity in this world today, because that's what this world revolves around but it's generosity in reaching out to people that have needs and that have desires. Because it takes a big heart to do big things. 
And that's what describes the people in this room, the people that support the United Way. And people with big hearts that do big things have great compassion. And compassion doesn't just happen. It takes a steadfast desire to put love into action. And that, again, is what the people in this room do, day after day, month after month, year after year, in supporting the United Way. They just don't say we're going to do something. They go out and they do it. The agencies that are in this room today that are our guests go out every day and put love into action. And when you put love into action, you have great impact. Because generosity and compassion together create great opportunity to empower others towards a better life, a better family, and a better community. And I think as we celebrate another fantastic year, another record year of fundraising, another record year of what's done for the community, another record year of people, who have an opportunity to better themselves through education, through health, through financial stability. I'd like for us to embrace what Robert Louis Stevenson said. Don't judge your success by the harvest you reap, but by the seed you plant. And that's what we do. We're celebrating the harvest, but it's all about the seeds that will be planted by the people in this room. So I'm extremely proud to be able to say today that I have the opportunity to serve as the next chairperson of the board of the United Way, because I can't think of a better organization to be able to give my time to and to be able to work alongside. So thank you very much. We appreciate you being here today. As usual, there are a couple of advertisements that I'm obligated by my contract to say. <laughs> so please mark your calendars for our CEO breakfast and our campaign kickoff, which will be Friday, September 21st at Salisbury University for another year. Don't forget to check out the United Way website, because if you have not participated in going to one of the restaurants that support us through Dine United, or gone and stayed at one of the hotels through Stay United, you're missing a great opportunity, because there are some fantastic organizations on there. And you get to enjoy something really cool and fun and at the same time support us. So with that, I just want to end with thank you, and God bless you for what you've done this past year and what you're going to do in the years to come.